Yes, yeah, she is a very talented and very beautiful, very very beautiful, very. hard artist. I'm mm -hmm. so glad we've had her on this mm -hmm. on this table and we've seen it in person. Yeah. Like, it's not just we feel blessed. Do you get what I mean? Like <laughs> awesome, awesome, awesome. And I wish I had the best with her music career. Um, but speak, speaking of still beautiful people, but not really good news, a former Nigerian beauty queen and doctorate student in the United States, Najeeba Tule, was shot multiple times by a yet to be identified gunman in Philadelphia of the United States. Local media quite, um, quite um, quotes but local police as saying that news reported that the unknown assailant opened fire on the 24-year-old model while she was sitting in her car on March 12 at about 6 p.m. in the city Holmesburg's neighborhood. She was there after taking to Jefferson's um, hospital where she died. The parents of the deceased are now in hiding over concerns of their own safety. Ms. Sule's father, Adewale Sule, told reports that he heard the gunfire and hurried to the scene, but the suspect just had just fired the last rounds of the shots at his daughter when he emerged from the house. And Ms. Sule, was, um, who had only recently earned a master's degree in public health from, Mass from West Chester's University and was pursuing a doctorate, migrated with her family to Philadelphia, Nigeria, from Nigeria in the early 2000s. According to her bio, on Instagram in 2019, she was crowned second runner up at the Miss Nigerian International Pageant, where she represented Ondo State. She was also 2019 Miss Nigeria US finalist. I don't understand, man. Really? And it's been three weeks before you can find someone. I don't understand. Hmm. A whole car, pictures, witnesses and everything like why haven't you found this person i don't understand 6 p.m it's not like it was even so late you know all that so uh, i'm wondering but it just it just shows that insecurity is everywhere do you understand insecurity is actually everywhere because this is a young woman who has you know a life right in front of her she seems like she seemed like somebody who had the plans laid out and she was actually pursuing it like that so it just what do you think could have happened do you think i have no idea like because you know it's not one shot right so it, was, it seemed really targeted mm. six times like this person really wanted her to die premeditated the person taught it out the person knew she was going to be there yeah the person went for her she was the target because now the parents are in hiding as well because they're scared for their life but i feel like if the assailant was for the family and was in a personal situation the moment the father because they said they chased after him for mm. a while I think he would have shot at the dad as Absolutely. well. Absolutely. Yeah, so, but now that he, the dad has chased him, he the killer probably thinks that the, he knows his face, which is why he's not safe. But, you know, why is my point? Like, I've been thinking about all the super story narratives not, in my head. Like, is it, is it from the... sick. Like, is it racism? Is it the fact that she won a competition? Is this jealousy? Is this... People did she get involved with something sick. that she's not supposed to get involved in? Like, what could make a, a, a soon-to-be doctor who seems like a harmless girl, 24 years old, gets shot multiple times. One thing I'll just say is that do not take um, threats um, lightly. Mm. Like when people tell you, I'm going to do this to you, people are actually sick. They might say it publicly, but you don't even know when they mean it and they will plan it out. Do you understand? Mm. So I think everyone just needs to be careful. And then but, when you well, get you threatened see, by I anyone, like that you said that, if because I remember that story with Dr. Kemi. Is mm. she really a doctor? Mm. Well, yeah. <laughs> um, but, you know, um, but yeah, the, Dr. Kemi, when she had a dream huh? about Bovi, and she acted like she didn't know who Bovi was. So we know that that was a lie. We mm. don't know if, even if the dream was a lie, mm. but she basically stated that the guy was going to die and everything. And I remember saying, like, to me, that is a, like, a she subtle... She did not say she was the one that was going to kill him. No, 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 no. But she was, still saying that, she was still saying that the guy, that she's seen that the guy is going to die. You see, that for me is what I call, like, a very soft threat. Like, um, you know that saying when and, um, you're about to say, why are you looking for a Sokoto? When is your Sokoto? Mm. Like, you say that, like, you know something about something right mm. and i remember when i was saying that at least even a conversation should be taken i don't think it should just end at social media like is everything okay why did you see what you saw if she had said in the dream she saw that she shot spoofy then maybe that's a threat but in this case she just said what well, she's like everybody i told you to your dream oh. you but then she acted like she didn't know who he was 
So it was obviously targeted to Bovi because she knew who Bovi was. Yeah, Can you not see that there's some kind of madness I, I with see, that? I don't see no madness. Premium mint, Abe. I just feel like um, just don't take threats, um, you know, laying down. You know, when somebody says something about you, at least put a report out there. You know, tell somebody, tell somebody about what this person said to you. Do you understand? That way, if anything happens, at least we know where we might go to. It might not actually be from that person, yeah. but you would know the first, you know, yeah. suspect and all. So, yeah, it's really... I think, I think Americans in general really need to cramp down on uh, their gun, gun laws. Violence, yeah. yeah. Gun laws, um, I, I think we've been screaming this thing for a long time. I mean, there's too many people who have died for no reason. No, that's reason. one of the things um, President Biden has said he would look into. Mm. And he's going to be banning um, assault rifles and stuff like mm. that. So, I, I like that. The fact that people can have assaults. Do you know what I, assaults? Like, why do you need that? Do you what kind of constitution like, is that? That you need that, and you it's, can so, it, it's go and one of the most backward things I can think about with America because I remember in I think it was the early two thousands where the entire globe was mm. dealing with gun violence, mm. and everybody just did the obvious thing: take it out, take the law out, where it is not easy for you to um, what's it called, just go and pick up a. A and rifle, gone. you know, you have to go through a process and, mm. and uh, you know, prove that you actually need that in a private institution. Da, 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 da. I don't understand why America didn't do that. Like, I don't get it. Mm. And you've yeah. had series, series, I think it was 2018 or 19, where there was just, it was a trend. Churches were being targeted. Mm. Schools were being targeted. And nothing was You did not do anything about it. Like... It's really sad, but I just hope, um, you know, this time, and, you know, the more the violence increases, I think they, uh, they're beginning to look into it. And I'm glad that pre um, President Biden is actually thinking of taking yeah, it Yeah, um, I mean, so far, so good with President Biden. I think... Yeah, I don't I think... think he... I, his first 100 days yes. of his evaluation will be very good. Very, very good. Very, I think he's done good. a lot. I don't think he has done everything that he said he was going to do. And there was something I saw about money and all of that. But to be honest with you, me, I've always said it on this table. I don't know if it's bad, but I wouldn't really crack the... I can't say that word. Crack the ceiling um, about somebody who's you know taking a little bit more money if he's actually doing the work. No, that's not like if you're actually no doing the work, as in you are doing it. I only so take okay to... five thousand instead of four thousand, Baba. I rather that than these ones that people are using our lives as uh, retirement plans yeah, at least and taking, taking billions out take, of the country and I'm not doing take, anything. They will steal four five and use five hundred for the people. Do you understand? <laughs> and even that five hundred, they'll be like, mm, uh, let's, let's give it to them um, half half mm, or mm. something. Anyway, American rapper Saweetie has broken her silence over the elevator incident with her ex-boyfriend and rapper Quavo. According to the rapper, the incident happened a year ago. This unfortunate incident, and I quote, happened a year ago. While we will have reconciled since then and moved past this particular disagreement, there were simply too many other hurdles to overcome in our relationship, and we have both since moved on, she said. I kindly ask that everyone respects my privacy during this time. It was um, also recalled that, the, obviously, the media report released a now famous elevator video a few days ago that we talked about on Tea Time as well. In the video, Sawiti and Quavo were seen having a physical altercation. On Friday, March 19 of 2021, Sawiti announced that their almost three-year-old relationship had crashed. There have been reports that the two have called it quits after Sawiti unfollowed Quavo on Instagram. The couple started dating in 2018 after Quavo slid into her DMs. It's so sad. This takes me back to um, what we said initially about fact checking. And um, this one, thank God, is not Nigeria. Mm. Because, yeah, because um, she said almost a year ago, and reports were saying a few days before their breakup. Mm, right, Remember when right. that came out? They said, oh, this happened a few days. And most American blog sites and um, news platforms carried it as a few days before there. So we all ran off the, like, okay, could this be part of the contributory factors that yeah. made them break up? Yeah. But, Apparently, we've heard from the horse's mouth, and she's saying this is over a year yeah, ago. We've yeah. moved over that. Too many orders yeah. were the reasons why we couldn't go on with the relationship and yeah. none of this. So yeah. I don't think I'm going to respect her on this one where she says, oh, we've gone. Like, for instance, it's something as, um, as serious as this had happened. And um, you still went on with the relationship, and you guys were still good, and then something else happened. I don't think I'm going to judge you off the back of this one if it's not part of the reasons or if violence was not stated as part of the reasons why they broke up. I mean, I think it obviously plays an impact. Yeah, of that. course. You kind of course. just switch that ago, kind of incident. Mean it's going to go away. Yeah, completely. and I, it, it looked extreme. I think that mm. builds up. Obviously, people don't, just don't break up overnight. I think with tension, build up tension. You and this is, 
looking at each other differently. Like, yeah, like, this, you know, we've gone that? too far or whatever. And if you don't handle such a thing, to me, I think I can allow, like, not allow, but it can happen. Mm. But I wouldn't continue a relationship if I can see that we are not able to actually dissolve that, never let that happen again. So if it, was, if it, it now grows into a toxic relationship, then it should go. Mm. I want to just say this, though. I think I saw on Twitter, I don't know, I think maybe people's Twitter are very different. But I saw on Twitter, like, somebody really hamming down on how nobody is giving fault to... Um, to Sawiti about the video and everyone is saying that Quavo oh, is the uh, is the victim there. I don't know who they're following. I don't know who's talking victim? about. Um, no, that that Sawiti is a victim there, and that Quavo was the one that was doing something awful. What I saw were two people equally fight. in a fight. Obviously, one is stronger than the other, and it seems that what's it called? Quavo wanted to get something from her, so he was doing what he wanted to do to get the bag no, she and she too was doing from him. no he wanted she wanted, he grabbed her bag now innit she grabbed the bag she yeah and then he to grabbed grab, the bag back too back. and that's yeah. the same thing potato potato mm. what i'm saying is that he did what he wanted to do like he to the violence the, the vi yeah exactly the violence from his part was that i wanted the bag back and the violence from her part was that i wanted I want the, the bag. bag so i mean to me one person isn't more um, innocent than the other. Why are both of you grown people t fighting each other about a bag Very anyway? Bad. But I don't, think, I don't think I don't think I don't think that Quavo is innocent, which is why I don't understand the tone about that. He's not innocent, but he's not a he's no, not. No, there's this narrative that came out when the whole video came out and they said it was acting in self defense because she took a swing at him. That was the first thing everyone saw. Uh, taking a swing, in dodging the swing, and then they squabble over the right. bag. So that's why people are like, oh, it seems like this was a guy that was. Um, you know self-defense was what he was doing mm. but i i'm not in a position to say that because like you said clearly i saw two grown yeah grown oh, you can leave the bag i'm going to sort out your bag in a yeah. more put together way so he's not he's not an a, mm. a, a an innocent person here but neither is she she cannot mm. cry victim but anyway let tea time go on a really quick break we'll be right back to go anywhere